you go. We got a CT side start for Nip. Team Liquid. That means they're on the T side. Yep. <laughs> If it's not one, then it's the other. Otherwise, it's the spectator. And we've got Jakey at the helm as well, observing as we get into this one. It favored, but you never know what you're going to get with a, a team hot off the press back from the player break. And looking to ruffle some feathers. Liquid moving through apartments. They've got some banana control as well. Nip just assured in their setup three on B. Hamper still getting that mid info. Here they come. Flash play above the pit into the A site. Red's going to get Molly. That will push him out into the open. Flash did nothing. Naf bullets will be a lot better. Hampus hides out at the back of A, but surely they're expecting more resistance. Oh, yeah. Hampus, they coming for him, and they hunt him down. Grim going to find that kill. Solidifying the plant for Team Liquid. Nip, do they even want to give this three on five a go? They're going to float around for a moment. And I mean, because it's a pistol round, you always want to give it a look Ooh. in, but now you really can't. Elise tapping another head off has sealed the deal on this pistol round for Team Liquid. Linus and Plopsky, they're out of there. And so that's the Team Liquid boys finding a pistol round. Nothing like a flawless pistol. Full health players, get out of there. Save your Kevlar, get those cheap helmet upgrades. We like that money saved for Liquid. If you really want to start talking finances in round two, we will. Every little helps, Harry. It all adds up. And so Liquid lock in the first against Nip. And I, I'm assured this is going to be a bangy matchup. Got a, a classic map pool as well. Inferno to start. All right. See if Liquid can get away with murder here. We've got a force buy up though for Nip. They don't want to go down without a fight. Heavy on B, even more so than the pistol. Four players here. Reed is everything on the CT side of this map. The gambles, the reeds, whichever they are, they really decide the outcome of the rounds. Smoke down on long, but it is a B player. Nip, no. Yeah, Hampus is actually also about to confirm this even further. And now they hear the footsteps coming in towards Ooh. this B site. Grim, good for the first. Lots of damage. Will they be ready for device? The, oh, the wow. turn from Elise. A little 180 puts a bit of English on it. A bit of a spin there. And so now for Popsky and oh. Hampus, it might be a saving game again. They are sidelined by Plopsky, but he's low on health and oh, won't yeah. be able to retrieve that AK fallen. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, he does get it. He does get it. Falling used to be so good at scavenger hunts. You just know it. Finding Easter eggs in the darndest of places, Harry. Too low for Liquid. And they deal with uh, the four stack B play forced by this turn for a lead. Oh, almost ran out of mouse pad there, but he got it down in time. The quick lift. You love it. The Zeus out for Plopsky as well. Otherwise, it's a pretty bare bones eco round for Nip. Ouch. Playing the Zeus in CT, that's a position for it, right? I usually the half wall can get a lot done, but maybe going through a smoke with that. It's really the highlight of the round, Harry. Yeah, he's on the boost. <laughs> Flying Zeus. That might actually be the play that he has in mind. Um, with no smokes down and like a contact play, here it is. Yeah. Oh. No, fired too soon, fired far too soon. I respect the attempt. Flying Zeusman. Ah, oh, imagine though. That gun is fickle at best, right? Even when you feel like you're dead on. Sometimes it just doesn't give you the goods. And this round, got nothing good about it. Liquid are running over Nip. Four alive at the end of things, no problem. Here comes the buy. Here's where the matchup gets interesting yet again. Yeah, Device going to be bringing that AWP out right away. Head to head of Fallen and Device is cool. Close, man. It's close. 
It's but, a snail trail there in slow mo. Snail trail. Yeah, you see that? And I mean, an actual snail like an trail. Actual Not what snail. your brain no. goes to, you absolute animal. Well, I would call it more like a slime time. Yeah, like a slime line, you know? <laughs> but you know what I mean, even if it took us a while to get there. Here's the open device. Not going to be met with any from Liquid. Not yet, at least. It's T side after all. They flash him off. He goes back on. Four on A. Nip have attempted a lot of gambles already, and we're early in the game. Will this one pay off? All right. Well, Device now knows that the top of middle is clear. Means he doesn't have to keep freaking out on this angle. Don't know how that was just a tag to Elise. Elise knows he's a lucky boy to still be alive after that one. The next contact is made by Rez over here at Arch. He's opened up the round for NIP. Team Liquid still grouping for what feels like the apps hit, timed with this play from the guys in middle. And so all this smoke goes out now with the goal of cutting down these sight lines. They deal with the pit player, but Rez still waiting in that smoke. And back of the sight is Device. The USP claims a life. And that's the bomb as well. No Device way. making it happen with the sidearm, with the orb. Oh. He gets it all. Device with three brings that orb out and immediately makes his presence felt in the server. That if that's a sign of things to come. Yeah. Oh, this matchup is gonna be a gonna be a spicy one indeed, Hugo. Mate, the USP kill on the site player, that's just rancid. And then, you know, the, the pillar peak, he stores it out a few seconds, Ali just holding him down. Easy does it on the border nip. And liquid back to their rifles. Vice got the AWP B now, liking to keep Liquid guessing in this CT side. I said that sometimes all the Inferno comes down to. Liquid trying to keep up some control, take that flash to top B. Still got to worry about sandbags. You want an anti-flash player as well, ready to trade. If Nip get aggressive, they certainly seem close to do so, but they're not committing. Just waiting for Device's contact, the contact that may never come as Liquid line up A-Util Rez is going to hear that go down. He knows they could be right around the corner now, and they are. Yeah, Plopski now starting to lean away from B, but because they don't want to make noise on the rotate, he's sneaking the entire way. This is only going to give more time to Team Liquid to get in. They've oh. got to be quick to capitalize, and Hamper's still trapped down here in the pit. He's trying to hold wow. on. Now, he's traded after one by Fallen, but still, this has left a three on two open for NIP. And Liege down here in the pit and Fallen tucked into the site. It's a nice crossfire to have. Fallen can make this first contact at long with a Liege swinging a little later. And with a re-smoke down on Moto, that's only going to give you more room. Oh, oh it's <laughs> removed, though, as quick as it appears. And Liege in the graveyard, good for the first. Device is now scoped in on the angle. And there's a Liege with what? all three. And he makes that clutch happen. Oh, that spray transfer, man, that's something else. Device was not ready for that. Yeah. And so that's four on the board for Team Liquid right there on the back of Mr. NA. Oh, that's so beautiful as well. And that 1v2 device fires a shot through the smoke. The Liege uses that. You see his peak just seems out of nowhere, but he, he's aware in that one second timing he's got. Device can't refire. He can't trade frag. So Elige goes hunting for liners and then even transfers device on the jump. That is disgusting stuff. That is what we like to see from Elige. Mr. Consistent bringing it right to the front door of Nip. Fallen, he's got an AWP as well. Picked up, yoinked. So let's see what he's going to do with it. Because Device, not quite as well endowed now. Down to a Deagle instead. Three M4s, Liquid set up for a B play. This is a smoke, not a flash, ready for Device to retake the top of B. There it goes, over. It's actually just a re-smoke. Very safe position to throw it from. Also means he can lob it and rotate quick if he needs. Still plenty of utility here for Nip. They're doing a good job of holding on into the late round minute on the clock. Liquid try and show some face on A, but they will be doubling back to the original plan, the B bomb site that still has three CTs in it. Rez is kept on the angle, but only for a moment. Nip already know what's going on. 
Yeah, Liquid walking into this stack. Ooh, all the more credit to them if they manage to get in, but there's just so many crosshairs, so many players firing back. Fallen, oh. he knows about this Deagle of Device. He taps the bomb, the bait Psych. a peak, and oh, yeah, it's the wrong number. Here he is, <laughs> back in again. Elise is going to be the man to get it this time. Hampus, 1v2, brilliant stuff from Fallen and Elise to turn this one back on its head. Hampus with Ooh. the swing is ready to complicate matters. Just fallen left to get past anything else in his big bag of tricks. Yes. There it is. All three to close. It's back to back hat tricks to find Liquid another round. Yeah, clutch killers of Allegiant Fallen finding success here for Liquid. We love what we're getting out of them. Oh my God, it feels great to see Liquid looking good up against tier one EUCS. Mm, what a flavor. Fallen with a double fake. Great stuff, but the miss smoke, they go right through and yeah, close round, but it's not gonna cut it. That looked perfect for Nip. That was a two on four coming right down the barrel for Liquid. Uh, now five one up, breaking the money again, putting them back on pistols. Fallen once more. He's not gonna get it though. Molly down a car, lets Grim get into position with the Mac 10 and Elige trying to fight against three. There's the first. You can't not love the game we're getting out of Elige, right? I always get a little bit worried. He's not immune to slow starters, this guy, but... Oh, save by the bell. Fallen comes in. Fallen's uh. coming through. And Naf is out in the top mid. Nipper left, retaking a site that Liquid haven't even taken yet. <laughs> this is very odd, right? Liquid looked like they were originally going to hit B at the end of all of this if with they the might bomb still. down bottom banana. Nah, now they get the info. There's one there. That'll do on the old info wars. Yeah, these frogs, there's something about them right now. <laughs> there's something in the water, something in liquid. And right now, I'm loving what we're getting out of it. 4v1 as they delay the rotate. Grim dying there, if anything, just ensures the round for liquid that nothing can get out of control. Made Linus doubt his rotation. And now he's just trapped out in library, hoping they feed him. Naf coming his way. But there's a long player to trade if Naf does die. Hell, who peaks first? Maybe it's a Legion range. Nice try. Linus got the deeg and Naf, Naf got the shot. Six to one. And Liquid in full control of this game right now. I've got faith. Fallen's rifling looking pretty sharp in the last few months seeing him back on this team, but no sleeper with it off either. We've seen that already. Very daring head-to-head, -head. beautiful moves as well. The jump up from Hampers. Look at this assault of utility Ooh. now. They don't check for the guy up on balcony. Device being chased out. Oh, oh Alish is going to trade that out. It's always risky chasing Device into a corner like that, right? You've seen moments where Device is getting pinned down, but Alish makes it look so easy. It's not, believe me. Not that I would know. It just looks that way. Here we go. It's a save out of NIP. They're left with no options. Another yeah. decisive round for Team Liquid. I love that play as well. Just, to, uh, you know, it's such a pace change. Liquid have been taking mid and defaulting and throwing that long smoke almost every round. Never been doing anything with it. This time, that first play, I think it was Stewie, right? Looking at the ground, jumping, flying around the corner. Yeah, he's not looking at Hampus. He's trying to dodge the flash, gone over apps into the pit for Liquid. So he does that. And Stewie knows making that play, he's probably just going to die. And it wasn't even Hampus to kill him. Device picked him off with the orb. But he's setting his team up to just... You know, storm the A site with such a ferocious pace. Nip never knew what hit them until it was too little too late. Look at this. Yeah, Device stole this first kill, but all the trades come in. Puff. And Elite, he just has a mad round again. Just runs him down, jumps up apartments. He's 12 and 3 right now. There's yeah. no stopping Elite. No, and, and that's a great thing. Like, you can just tell with how they're playing, they are brimming with confidence, yeah. right? Stewie didn't even have a gun out, bro. He's, you know, that clip of S Tag when he was on Astralis, like, yeah. hopping down, uh, nuke, down Nuke yeah. Ramp, and then they're trading around him. That's literally what Stewie's doing there. He's like, look, I'll go get the info. I believe oh, in you, boys. Maybe you can now need a gun they out. Need a banana. Grim will trade one of these kills out. Now, they don't know this yet, but there wasn't like a complete investment in this round. You would love to get some of these guns away. Device can move in and retrieve one. But right now it's a bit of a stalemate. Four on four, a big trade for little Grimothy. Oh, 
Hopski just doesn't care. He wants to push back in off the back of the Molotov with devices flash. It goes over the top. Fallen's already conceded, and Grim the same, holding from logs. Popski won't double down. He'll call it at that. And maybe you would want to see a reinforcement of B as well, right? Like device dropping his smoke and uh, of A rather, device dro dropping his smoke and rotating, or vice versa. They've just cleared out Banana. They don't seem convinced. The just walked the smoke. He made a step. Rez heard that for sure, for certain, and stays on the angle. He's about to go B, and he's certainly glad he did it. One kill. Fallen can't find a trade. Ooh. Oh, dear. Legion's found the entry. A is open for business. And he's still hungry for more. And Liege, leave him alone. He's pushing everything right now, right? We're so prepared to go looking for the arch guy, go hunt down that kill, because he knows that in doing so, the round is won. And he's got full faith in his own ability right now. You know, the safer play would have just been to skirt your way into the bomb site, get the bomb down, risk playing out the three on three, but not for a liege. He's like, no, the round can end if I double up here. Yeah. And so he does it. That's what Inferno can be, right? Like, kills coming through quickly, multi-kills quickly win you rounds if they're in the same place because there's just no way back in that, you know, that, that rotate on long can't stall and go, okay, I'm waiting. I'm holding live because I'm waiting for you. you. You know, come rotate, retake together, three on three, winner, but no, it's over. Oh. We're too out of position. We've lost the A site. By the time we get there, Liquid will be in crossfires with the bomb for them. And so they are saving their stuff. Eight to one. Eight to one, Harry. Is that how you thought this game would start? No, but I'm so happy this is how it started. This is brilliant. Anna's needed a win in the Pro League. I can tell you that yeah. well. Back seven on res, Deeks out. And rifles saved. They're, they're gonna need to do the heavy lifting in this one. Double nade to boiler, double app setup will meet you right there. Device traded by Hampus as Nath takes him down and the gun's scavenged out of position. Very risky play for Hampus, getting everything he can into safekeeping with yeah, res covering. He actually the juggled them away from res. Hey, where's the weapons? <laughs> oh, cheers. But at it's this all point, good. Liquid are going B. Yeah, I mean, it's really all they're left with. You you know that there was at least a heavy presence over in the apartments. You don't want to run into the AKs you've just gifted over, so they're going to try and hit the B site to, we'll call it a mixed bag of results. Oh. Grim will get one. One way to do it. Fallen, holding banana for now, but this is going to give more time for NIP to rotate in. He's not to know that banana was empty. Planting now is Fallen. You know the crowd now, are proud now, and Fallen with the swing, tries to make it happen. Doesn't find anything right away. Team Liquid still not cognizant that all three players are coming oh. through CT. Grim burns alive, and so Fallen has got to oh. do it. He gets the first, but Linus is there with the trade. Yeah, it may look like he's very wide on the angle, Fallen there, but he has to be, right? I, I think at a certain point you ascertain that Banana's clear, but you don't know about Ruins. You don't know if that third player is sneaking in through CT or he's coming in on the coffin side. If Fallen plays wider, he's opening himself up to way more angles. He had to play tucked by Blue. One kill will do, but not enough. This lineup almost made the round happen, right? Grim forced out by Molly, doubles up. It's a round, but instead Rez just jumps around the corner, sacrifices himself as Stewie did earlier, and Linus to trade to win that out. A must-win round for Nip to stop this game getting completely out of control. Hampers thrown into Oldman with a flashbang over the top. Double flash make that, and Grim gets tagged but everyone lives. Grim was actually in Banana by the utility of even less damage done to a leech. But a nice try anyway. The run boost for the app's peak. One way to beat the timing. Nip have got ideas. They're just not all materializing. Once again, it's another good read from NIP as well, right? A lot of the times they have had the players in the right spots here, right? They've got a triple stacked B bomb site. And in times gone by, that hasn't necessarily been enough to put a stop to these B plays. This round, it needs to be. You need to set that precedent. And with Device here on the AWP, he's looking for his own happy moment now. There's one on the cross. Device blinded off the angle. They're running in and Elise, that is a beautiful God. opener. Stewie <laughs> has to drop his own smoke and CT and now move back in. They've got to play a trap the dark and there's Grim providing yet more entries. 
Team Liquid once more walk into the most stacked bomb site and they don't even lose a player in the process. I don't know if they saw Plopski, but they didn't Molotov him and he drops his smoke. I wonder if he doesn't drop his smoke there, do they even know he's back at dock? They'd seen two players on B. They knew about the CT man, so uh, in device. So, you know, there, there would have been a world potentially, unless they spotted Plopski. I don't know how they would have. That, that he could go unaccounted for and he could catch a multi kill. Instead, he drops a smoke and two liquid players spray through it, catching him moving. So, yeah, unless I missed the detail, that's a bit of a shame for Popsky. He could have been the, uh, you know, the surprise factor on B. Instead, whew, Allegiant's entries, my goodness, they're making me feel some kind of way. Dude, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. This is what peak physical performance looks like, yeah. okay? It looks like a liege. Can we get a camera shot of that guy actually at some point? <laughs> yeah, like permanently in the top left. Yeah, like, the radar. like a webcam. Yeah. Oh, that would be so good. Far more important information, but... Yeah, oh my goodness, just mowing down. See, yeah, they seem pretty aware about Dark. Maybe they knew about it. Maybe my point isn't valid, but uh, it never seemed like he'd have peaked. Liquid are peaking right now. Nine to two. It just seems like nothing can go wrong for them. You know, this little duo of Hampus and Device, they've had some nice moments over here on A. And so as Team Liquid start to test the waters of the apartments, you know, will they be ready for Device's AWP? Naf, not really in a spot where if he swings that, he can get traded. So he would have to be uh, pretty keen on the old entry. Oh, he does have a liege here, though. And we know how this guy has been keen with the entries. Lucky enough for these par uh, apartments, guys, that AWP is no longer set up on the balcony. Device has dropped off to short instead and left the app sold to Hampus. All smoke on B as well. Wonder what that will change. I try and get inside of it, moving both players back to quad. Often with this smoke, you'll see players try and get into CT and wrap the ruins, try and get weird on the B play. Liquid want nothing to do with it. They're hitting A. No smokes down apart from long side, which has been consistently every round. The device is about to find out exactly what's going down. Last time he tagged the player here. This time, it's the killing blow for Device. Oh, dear. Smoked his teammate's Molly. Not the end of the world, though, right? You're still not sure about going through it if you're liquid. You've only got this A long play and fallen. While he has tapped out the first, there's still even more in the sight in the pit. Elise oh. needed a 180 at epic proportions there. It can't come through. That, that entire round is res, right? Like, I know players multi-kill the bomb site, but Rez gets the first kill full white on long. That was a perfect flash. Elise baited the shot. It took Fallen to trade it. And, uh, you know, sometimes in those executes, uh, that five on, oh, sorry, four on three, you know, it all comes down to the first kill. Being able to snowball off the back of it. Instead, this comes in full blind. I guess he saw it before it popped. And then even though Fallen trades, he dies to the pit. Device uh, gets one in the site. Hampus doubles up. But there, he deals the killing blow. It's an early five on four, which only magnifies the impact that Rez was able to have in removing the long prong of that take. Oh, Device's long prong finds nothing, no down banana, <laughs> sitting in a Molotov instead. They call him Mr. Long Prong. Look yeah. at him with that orb. <laughs> oh, oh they're ready for it. Oh, my God, dude. Fallen <laughs> in their brains. Yeah. I mean, not the first time Hampus has played here, but oh, my God. Ah, uh, oh, he saw, he saw Spam. He saw a tag. Fallen knows now for sure, for certain. And he takes the kill. Hampus never knew the orb was just around the corner. Pretty ballsy for Hampus to just stay up yeah. there. But I guess that's like the you're, mind you're game not you're playing, that right? Orb peak. They go, ah, oh, you're never gonna, you're not gonna think I've stayed around up here. Still a triple B. I like the Nipper insured here. Liquid think they sell, uh, they're selling a fake, but Nipper been running this a lot with Linus just watching Spawn. Device is going to hit that contact, but he's blind, and the entry comes in. Grim trades and oh, no. follows oh, up. You may have everyone ready to push through the smokes, all grouped up in B, and it's no challenge for Liquid. Bro, these B entries have been so clean. Every B take feels like that's how it's gone. Like, they all push in into a stack, the, the, the stack gets one kill, and then it's like traded, traded, dead, dead. Oh, there we go, sorted. <laughs> We're in, boys. We're done. Round over. Oh, it, yeah, it, it has been that way. For certain, Naf even lurking oh, as soon as Rez turns around. Whew. 
N A. Tears of joy. This is this is this should be a moment of rejoice right now. Everyone should be feeling good. Yeah, because as we all know, at 10-3, the game's already over. There's nothing that can go wrong. There's no way that this could come back to bite you. It's as good as finished. Turn off your stream. Or maybe hang around and see if liquid make you worry. But really, like all that joke aside. This is really good form for yeah, I'm not expecting them to bottle this. You never are, obviously, but I'm really not more than ever. Let's see, though. Really not more than ever. Yes, That's... the triple negative is like yes. to come out when things get wild. <laughs> nope. Ooh. Ooh, there's the opener for Plopski. Yeah. Finally fighting for top B. That's a change. A little what? peek from behind the Molotov time with the flash. They realize just a second too late while this is happening. Naf has pried open the A-bomb site. Now Linus could make a round winning play. He's out along, they don't know about it. Oh, oh but Elise has got their back. He saves them. That could have been the how? lineup. Stewie was running back turn, knife out how he spent most of the T side so far. <laughs> and now just Popsky, 1v4. They are hunting for him at B. In the actual A site, it's a 1v2. Not that Plopski is to know that, and without a kit, a 10-second stick would be optimistic. So, Unrealistic. just trying to hold on to the AWP if Team Liquid let you. Mate, how did Elise get that kill? How? Like like you said, like that should have been double up, bomb dropped, round up in the air, Plopski activated. But no, Elise just dinked, bops him, mate. Oh, my goodness. Unsinkable. 11 to 3. And you can't... Do anything but laugh. Unless you're a Nip fan. In which case, you've got to be feeling pretty sad right about now. This is not how you expected this team to come into today. But I can't say it's anything but great play out of Liquid. It's not like Nip are making massive mistakes. Their reads are good. Like you said, Liquid are walking into a lot of stacks and still winning rounds. We're seeing different setups. Devices, you know, very mobile. None yeah. of this matters. No, man, this is, uh, this is great. You know, like, Inferno hasn't really been, like, a centerpiece of the Nip map pool, but um, it's still impressive that this is looking so good for Liquid. Like, if there was any team I had faith in that could show up and look underwhelming, it is these guys, like, especially when there's so many hopes and dreams of NA, you know, riding on the back of them. But no, dude, this is a very, very nice debut. This round, four on four, thanks to Device with that all. I think Dust is going to be a real good, like, litmus test for where this Liquid squad is at. Naf continuing his reign of terror in the A-bomb site, doubling down. Uh -oh. oh, look at this. Linus flashed in. Grim was playing anti-flash. And the fact that Linus gets one... I don't know how. I don't even know where... Oh, it was on... Fall yeah, Fallen fell off the wall. He must have hit him. Fell on, yeah, I thought he, fell. he must have hit him as the head disappeared behind the wall. That's what I was wondering. Device taking matters into his own hands. He's dropped the bomb in mid, turning around, knows about Nap, and catches him mid-air. That pick as well. So let's see if Nip came in hot today or expecting a bit of Inferno. Liquid certainly were, and the T side was well drilled. How's Nip going to fare? Fast up middle. Forget you two. It's armor glocks, baby. And no one's here. Oh, Nip, they made the perfect read. <laughs> Does not get better than this. It's a bit weird, though, right? Like, Do they hear it from B? I thought they would have, but oh, Nip is sneaking. Nip is sneaking. Now, Naf is suspicious. Smart guy like Naf, you're going to try to pull the wall over his eyes? Nah, dog, not today. Ooh, Stewie 2K dinked on the first peak. Oh. Out for revenge, but he can't what? find it. Linus has obliterated them. And this is one hell of a pistol out of NIP. Trying to get us believe in Linus. And Device looking to end it all. Just Elise, the infallible, the man who won't go down at the end, is finally brought to his knees. Yeah, it goes down right at the end. And, uh, mate, Linus, those are Glocks, right? It, Glocks v USPs all the way down Banana. He just two bullets liquid out of that round. Stewie waits behind the wood on 10 health. I was getting worried. He called for Fallen to peek with him, and both of them just get bopped. Even though Naf got that info, I just don't think Liquid were ready for that. Naf was cycling nades, who's figuring out, like, do I want to smoke CT? Do I want to drop it? Cough, uh, new box, rather. Do I, where do I want to play? It seemed like Liquid were not ready for that play. I can't blame them. It was the perfect outread from Nip. And now the game's on. Now the comeback begins. You can't rely on Elige to entry anymore. He's going to try on the CT side with a scout. Flick. Oh, double peek instead. No chance. Not now. 
And so this is where Nip could really start to sweat. Yeah, they've pulled a leash around with the scout. He's playing it a bit like an AWP, right? And he's being very, very mobile, but I don't think Nip are gonna be as scared of it as they are in AWP. They've lent strong into this B-bomb site, and for Team Liquid, that might prove to be a bit unfortunate as Nip now work their way into top middle, showing that early B presence fallen here. His taps have been good. Right? Oh, oh, see, great. Timing, no better. Switches to a nade right as they push, and in the smoke, Grim is gone. Linus sees right through those. And that's the round. Still the right, if Nip ever were going to recover, they've taken the first few steps to get there, finding the pistol, nailing the conversion. Now just these three saved weapons to beat in the next. Also, ESCA Premier, you can see there, that's the path to the Pro League that's been going on on the sidelines. Yeah. Let's keep up with all that good... Yeah, it's how Entropic got here, right? They were the ones, uh, you know, we saw in the previous game who managed to 2-0 Furia. They came in through season 36 of prep by winning it. So that's how they're here in the Pro League. You want to do it yourself? Go play the ECA Leagues. Go work your way up. Maybe you'll meet Harry in Open if you're lucky. Yeah, maybe if I get demoted. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. From, you know, the Pro League itself. Yeah, of course. I mean, you're here, so... I am the sick man of... Uh, Extra salt. Extra salt, yes. Yeah. And famously, I've heard that. They're not here, but that's fine. Here we go, though. Right? Just these saved, well, just this saved scout. Not exactly oh. imagining that much is going to happen in this round, but I'd oh. love to be proven wrong. With the scout removed, that's the, the one interesting part now brushed aside. NIP. The seventh round is inevitable. Well, there is a stack, but yeah, I don't think NIP are going to run the bomb in and, uh, and throw this one away. Talking of throwing, Nap has a flash to lob into this site. And try and set Liquid up. He's still scared of CT, burned by the pistol perhaps. Here comes the flash and they all fight at the same time. It's a good flash, but the shots won't connect and there's aim punch as well to be expected. Bit of a team think. Hammers wants them all for himself. Nap in the spawn, took one with him. You'd like to think no more, but there are low players. Yeah, a lot of them are lower, with the exception of Hampus. Oh. And like Hampus, oh. no problem. Sees the USP, sees the silencer poking behind the coffins. Spams him out. 7 to 11, and well, this is where things get interesting for Liquid yet again. Their first buy. I don't think, yeah, I was looking to see if Fallen had an okay spawn. It's it's all right, but it's pretty risky to take a B peek with this one. Like, look, they're already there so far ahead of time. And so Fallen isn't really able to go for anything too crazy out of the gate with that AWP. They've been now working some of this apartment's control. Oh, Flash getting lined up by Nav actually the molly going over first and he won't hang around instead fall and oh. taking a peek now sees banana is clear this is a lot of info for team liquid wouldn't surprise me if we see naf maybe lean away from the b site now and that's exactly what he's doing looking to reinforce this a bomb site fallen has gotten them this information and liquid are looking to do good on the wow. rest of the round Elise doubling down on the short side and Linus is unable to trade it. The A play has grinded to an awkward halt for NIP. I love this bait and switch as well. Grim's playing pit. is just hiding, hoping they discount him after killing Grim. And they know about the possibility of this long lug. Hampus waits the moto smoke, but at Archway, Naf was smoked off. So he called it. He said this could be happening. And Liquid are not discounting the possibility. Grim, with the spot, sees that play along. And they start to move up on short and apps. We need Linus to activate above as well. There's the long player getting a killer. 
at least. And Device is trying to cut down Library as well. They still haven't cleared the pick for him, drawing them in. Where's Elige? They wonder. Where is Elige? He's behind you. Bomb dropped. It's all on liners. Elige is not giving it up. And 20 seconds left. Nath moves in for the kill. 12 rounds out of Liquid. You couldn't see a better, uh, con you know, way to contain that uh, long take and that split into A. Liquid are aware of it every step. Yeah, beautiful stuff, uh, and you know so much of it. I mean, at least doing this, like there's only, yeah. there's only, so many times you're gonna go. Well, he's never got a double here. Yeah, this was this was lovely out of Belize. On top of that, though, and I think you do have to give credit here to the double B holder Naf and Fallen once again earlier yeah, on in that round, deep clearing out Banana. So far ahead of time, they're able to make that cool across, guys. It's looking like a. And even that, you know, gives those players on a, a better poise, a better understanding of the fights they're about to take, the fights that are about to come to them. Now in with a triple B lean and the timing couldn't be sweeter. Fallen, they are trying to get cheeky with it. But is he going to be one step ahead? Oh. Device on the receiving end of that AWP. Fallen out like a light. He's trying to elude capture from these AKs, but he keeps throwing himself back in. Everyone's just playing with a lot of confidence right now on Liquid, it feels like. One is never enough. Can't blame them. Especially not with some of the things they got away with on that first half. Still going to commit to B. Fallen's got a reflash. It's going to maybe make you fire off shots, but they managed to dodge it while lining up utility. Here's the exec. How will Liquid fare on the hold? Fallen. Doesn't need help yet, but he will do. Naf raining out with a kill. Smoke now drops, gives Fallen a little more room to play with. But oh, Linus is running up here. on him. And Naf lies, but they don't check for Naf. How's he allowed to get away with a double? They knew about him. He'd been in the kill yeah. feed. That's a little bit awkward, and it's given this advantage over to Liquid, who were poised to play retake. With how confident they're looking, wouldn't surprise me if they just, you know, Grim flashes through the smoke and they try to face this one together. There's the smoke for Banana. Now they spot Res at Pillar. It's Hampus in the pool that they don't know about yet. Oh. Here they come. Elise with the opener. Res is blind, but still taking names. And Grim needs to be quick here. Time is not his friend. Oh. And neither is Res. He nails them with the AWP. That is a huge clutch for this guy to pull off. And it's kept Nip competitive. Now on to eight. The gap between these teams is shrinking, Hugo. And I'm starting to get a little worried. <laughs> yeah, that's a two on four out of Nip as well. I didn't know how they pulled that through. Res with some bang. It's not even just a close of the blind shot two. It almost looked like they were about to line up. And the hype's there for Nip. They're starting to believe. They're starting to taste victory as well. And it's all coming through for NIP. Yeah, I mean, after, you know, I was expecting nerves or something of the sort, like Linus kills the AWP and he just never checks for nap. That comes out of nowhere. Definitely a scary moment, but one that's quickly solved. And Nip just go right back to this B control. It's not a commit, but if they get the pick, they'll go. Excellent grenade from Naf. Does a, a lot of damage to three players. Other two players and Nip still defaulting, holding first and second mid. Now it's just Deagles and the likes for Liquid. They're not really invested heavy into this round. They're just hoping for any kills. And well, if one more comes through on B, that's as good as a done round for Nip. Even with Fallen here with the smoke, they are not going to respect it. They don't need to. Well, they choose to. Yeah, how good? So they, they, yeah. they might, right? They've got a bit of a gap here. Now they know about a second guy rotating over. They also hear it's Deagles. You don't know the extent to which there's, you know, bodies in this B site. Holding the gap, Naf will deal with one. It's all getting a little bit awkward. Fallen's taking pot shots, trying to do more damage. And finally, Plopsky decides, I've had enough. These are just pistols. Let's stop giving them so much room. Yeah. He runs them down and he opens up this B-bomb site. Nip moving on to nine and there's not really much that Elise and Grim can do about it. Little bit awkward there, right? Yeah, like what, I, with I, the, the smoke going in. I can they kind of understand. Down. I really thought they were just going to No, I, I thought they would, but, you yeah. know, to them, they don't really, like I say, they don't know could the numbers four. in the site. There could be players up on the boost yeah. on either side of that smoke. Plus, it's a bit of a weird smoke that comes in. 
I think that was more just a... Very shallow. Yeah, that was more just like a matter of the circumstances for Fallen, right? He's scrambling a rotate, and so he's just throwing whatever that serves a purpose. But Nip don't know that. Yeah, it gets a bit weird as well, because Device drops his orb and goes to grab the gun. And in doing so, he's stuck with the pistol while he's getting faced. Oh, nice exit. And a couple of kills on the way out does some damage to the Nip economy. That damage will only matter, though, if Liquid run away with rounds and start breaking. Uh, this, this, you know, fairly low money. So Liquid needs to get back on the board. Already this 11-4 has been forgotten. And Nip is showing us that we need a bit more respect here in the server. Yeah, I do remember there was this guy, Zonic, I think his name yeah. was. He did have this lore, right? All right. Uh, he said 11-4, you always lose those. I yeah, think I was think the... that was it. <laughs> you always <laughs> lose those. Fallen. Was he talking to Liquid? No, he was speaking, uh... Ooh, lovely <laughs> Fallen Beats device! I was gonna say, that's the guy he was talking to right there on the receiving end of Fallen's orb. Yeah. And so finally, Liquid have been rewarded with this five on four. Yeah, back to A for Nip. They've not really had uh, too much of uh, an interest in this bomb site. Fallen's here, off that swap. And he's ready. Device is two. Fallen hits a tag. It's Hampus, rather. Device obviously gone. Hampus takes that AWP. And now he needs it. 20 health. Tagged up by Fallen. It's going to be the AXF. And I think Team Liquid know what to expect. Smoke on long. Fallen replenishes one as well. Pops just goes right through. And Fallen knows about it. Even prepared for the fight. Let's him take the space. Got to worry about getting backstabbed now. But Plopsky's double back to join his team. That means Fallen's watching dead angles as Grim smokes preemptively for a Molotov. There it comes. Double molly denied by Grim. And now he peeks out through the smoke. Trading onto Fallen. The a Legion in the back of the bomb site still holding strong. Four on two. They're falling like flies. And ten health. He oh. dies as well. It's Hampus gone. And a Lege with another multi kill. Feels like when they come through. All is fine and dandy. I got a little bit nervous. Did that second volley not The second go out? volley didn't get extinguished Ooh. in the uh, in in the smoke. Just hide in the smoke. And so Grim, obviously expecting it to be put out, keeps running into this Molotov. He can't go anywhere. He's taking damage even when he's in the smoke. That was very very weird. Oh yeah, I see that as well. You know, you just hide out in the smoke. He, he realized very quickly. Wait, I'm still getting tickled here. But I just let a leech do the rest. Yeah, I'm glad that Ali steps up there because he needed to. Like, that, that yeah. volley in the pit does actually make Grimm's life very uncomfortable. He can't... They want to rise through the ranks. They want to be at the top of that list. Ooh, close shot for Fallen. Ali tries to get involved. Pushing himself right down middle. Hampus' P250 domes him and Fallen. They're getting closer. Molly oh, smoke Peter let again. him peek deep because he knows the pistols are not going to hold him back. Fallen takes the advantage because he knows also there's a gun down. Yeah, he's trying to protect it. Oh. oh that just blew the gun further away. Not what you want. Really not what you want. Oh, there's still oh, one it's there. It's still good. It's still fine. Yeah. Device gets his hands on an M4. Scary. Oh, but the M4, of course, bested by the AK. They both think each other, but Naf comes out ahead. Meanwhile, Device loses his. Hampus and Linus, now they're walking over towards Fallen. this this double long setup, and Fallen's very keen to fight you. He's on to another triple. Linus is just left waiting. Yeah, oh, Fallen damn. nails it. Great Dude. round out of the guy. A lot of a lot of re-peaking from Fallen, but he knows when to pull the plug, right? He knows that two is is good enough. Then he reroutes, repositions, keeps NIP guessing as to where that AWP can find itself. Fallen's taking so many crazy fights in this map. It's actually, it's oh, dude, it makes me feel like I'm in another year entirely. Like he has no fear. He's yet to like give up a kill as well, like an opener or or you know make a silly play. And it had to be device mate think about how good he's yeah. looked on those banana Headshot fights him down banana on top of logs like fallen's had everything it, and now now the Ooh. blood's flowing he tries what a liege couldn't get away with and hampers down low runs through the molotov now the orb shot didn't connect but it's better than going down 4v5 it's showing the the mental state of liquid it's flowing right now harry they're feeling it when you start going for those plays and back-to-back -back rounds and now side by side 
with Grim tucked in the cubby. Or a leech rather. This is all in for NIP as well. Like this full investment is is everything up against 14, right? They, they haven't saved, you know, something in the tank to keep the investments looming. Like, no, their, their hearts, their minds are all in this round. Their pockets, their wallets are there as well. So what can they manage with these pistols? There's fallen to remove one of these long players. Now the remainder all up through short. Grim might be blind, but he still won't give you the time of day. Fallen helps out, and it's 15 on the board for Liquid. Starting to feel as good as done, yeah. but with everything going in to that previous round for NIP. Mate, Grim must be wearing a burgundy t-shirt or something. You, man, you, you, you know, you feel like he's the anchor man right now. Doubles up in the back of the bomb site, and Alij always there to swing and never miss. 15 to 9. I don't want to say it's done, but it's not going to get any easier for Nip, who just have pistols in this round. Not another mid play, surely. Instead, it's fallen fighting deep down. Won't go to Pound Town, though. Holds off. Doesn't want to get deeked. Who does? Lots of nades for Nip. They can, you know, throw some fakey wakeys in here. They can double back to B late. They've got to retake Banana before they execute if they don't want to get hard flanked. They know Liquid have full control right now. So a couple of shots through the smoke will keep them there with a bit ah. of respect. But the second Nip commit, so will Stewie. Yeah, Fallen just started to rotate like he was going to be, and I don't know why, because now he's a little out of position. It's fine. They've given him respect at long, and he's come through the smoke. So now we've got these flanks coming in, but it might never be needed. Grim putting on a show, Ooh. Fallen helping out, and Team Liquid.